Hi, Rock and Lou. Hey, buddy. This hey. is Jesse. Jesse James Dupree. Hey, hey buddy, give me two seconds, okay? Sure. Hold on. Hold on. Hello? You know what? I've, I've got a, I'm, I'm, I'm on the air with a, a radio station doing a phoner, on the other hand, and I've got about 50 people standing out here waiting for me to do an autograph session with them. Can I call you back in just a little bit? I'm sorry? Can I give you can I can I give you a bus tomorrow? Like whenever I get I guess I'm coming home. Uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll be during the day, I'll be home be out during the day. I'll call you during the day tomorrow. All right, thanks a lot, Mister. Thank you. Please shut that door down. Hello. Hey, Jesse. Hey. What's going on, man? Sorry about that, man. Reverend Moody here. Yeah. How you doing, man? Good, dude. Uh, so sorry about that. It's, it's all right. You know, I called the wrong number, and how this little lady answers the phone. She goes, hello, and it sounded like a fake voice. He thought it was a radio station fucking with you, didn't you? And I said, I said, hey, I said, uh, I said, this is Jesse, and, uh, and she goes, yeah. And I said, we're gonna be okay here. I said, I said, I, I, I don't know if, if they relayed the message, Jesse, but I'm just gonna. They pile some stuff on top of him, and I'm crunchy. She goes, I'm sorry. Shit. And I said, listen, I said, I'm not being rude. I said, I, I said, but seriously, I, you know, I want to, I want to make sure this is cool, you know. And she's going, why well, you must. Be. <laughs> and I went, okay. So I, I, I saw her up the phone. And, uh, and then I dialed back, and I'd be damned if I didn't dial the same number again. So right now she's looking at her caller ID, calling that number back frantically. I, I guess so. So how's it going, man? Good, bro. Uh, you got some people waiting for an autograph session there, huh? Yes. And so you're playing up, up here tomorrow night at the Exposition Gardens Opera House, I take it, huh? Yes. Awesome, dude. I tell you what, do you want to go ahead and get the interview underway then? Do you mind? I'm ready to go. All right, great. Okay, here we go. Jesse James Dupree, great to have you on the line here at IROC. How are you, man? What's happening, Rip Run? The last time we talked, I was sitting on your tour bus with you, and uh, you were gracious enough to hand me several ice-cold uh, Pabst Blue Ribbons, so thank you. Put a little PBR, a little salt on the rim, you're good to go. It's the next best thing to heaven. Okay. Yeah, you're the only one I've ever had salt on the rim with beer, so I don't know if, if it's a south thing or southern thing or what it is. Uh, it's, just, it's, the, it's the right thing. Is it a jackal thing? It is. It's the right thing, my brother. I don't know. You know, I, I grew up watching Hee Haw, my dad, and, and that's the way he and all his buddies always drink it. And I get maybe it is a southern thing, but it sure damn is good. And it actually, is a common sense thing because you know people eat uh, eat pretzels and other salty foods with their beer, popcorn, and that kind of thing with lots of salt on it, and it just kind of goes together. This just cuts out the middle byproduct and goes straight to the salt on the rim. So. We'll see if the rock and roll business ever caves in. You've got a job in the kitchen. I guess so. Whatever it, you know, because we're constantly cooking here. But you know what? We are coming uh, up to a uh, Peoria tomorrow night at a place that, that's formerly known as the uh, Opera House, and from here on out known as Jackal's Bar and Grill, <laughs> and, uh, and we're excited about it. You know, we're celebrating the release of this brand new greasy ass rock record that we've mustered up called Relentless. Yeah, it's appropriately titled Relentless because it just doesn't let up if you know what I'm talking about. And you've got that new single too, right? Kill you know, the sunshine. You know, I, I can't say enough about that. I mean, we, we collaborated with Mr. Brian Johnson from ACDC, who, has, as you all know, is, is, is one bad son bitch. And, uh, you know, nobody in ACDC has ever worked outside their band before. So for Brian and the guys to give us a thumbs up and for him to take the time to, you know, to not only collaborate with us before on Locked and Loaded, which he sang with me on and everything, but to work with us on this track here. I mean, it's just, it, it's a very, very good day for Jackal. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just, you know, we're, we're out here soaking up every single bit of, uh, of this that we can, you know, that, that we can grab a hold of because, you know, it, it, it's, we're the long range right here. It's, it, you're hard-pressed to find some straight-up, loud, proud, hard, and honest rock and roll. And, uh, buddy, we're, you know, we're taking it to them as hard as we can. Which leads me to this question. Are you guys on a U.S. tour or a national tour right now? A U.S. tour or a national tour? Or international, I mean. I'm sorry. What the hell is this? Is this a trick question? <laughs> are, are, I'm the same old lady that answered the phone when you called a while ago. Okay. Hello! Hello! So are you going overseas, Jesse? Uh, you know, actually, I did. I, for everybody out there listening, I, I was calling the radio station to to to, to speak with the Reverend, and I, and, and I, I dialed the wrong number by mistake. This this old lady, she answers the phone. Hello, <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's him screwing with me, you know. So I tear into it, and I, you know, and I'm saying, I'm going, come on, man, we got to get. This <laughs> yeah, I got you know, my, I yeah, I, I make I, a, I make a habit of having rock stars call me, and I prank them when they call me. Hey, <laughs> watch them squirm. Well, I actually did a 15 minute interview with, with her, and she was damn good. Oh really? Yeah. Hey, you know the last time you were here, you played at the <laughs> at the Lafayette Club in Bloomington, yeah. and when you left, you left by carving uh, the band's name into the ceiling of the joint. Yeah. That freaked people out. Yeah, well, my my penmanship. 
That was awesome, dude. Yeah, it's a good thing. You know, yeah. I thought it was a fake thing, and I walked up to the stage after. I go, I'll be damned if he didn't just, like, leave a mark. It's like kind of like spraying your scent. Well, well, you know, well, it's gotten even more intense now because, like I said, we are spreading the word about this new record. And, uh, you know, for all these assholes out there that, that, that want to open up a record and they listen to it and they got such a high opinion of their self and they're, they're, they're wanting their music to down, you know, they want to open it up and find a song in there that could cure cancer. Brother, if that could have been written, I would have done it years ago and would all be, you know, it'd all be great. I'd give it to the world and would, you know, be better off for it. But, you know, music... Is, it is what it is. It's a release. It's an outlet. It's a way to blow off. This is a motivational record. If you want to light some candles, sip some wine, pour your hot bubble bath to get in it, kick back, relax, this ain't the record to listen to. Hallelujah. It's a motivational record. And if I do my job right when I pull into town tomorrow night, I guarantee you everybody's going to come out there, cop a greasy little buzz, listen to some rock and roll, then not even be able to make it home before they had to pull the car over and do the old nasty. You know what I'm talking about? You <laughs> Say it, brother. Hey, man, Trip Ride will be opening the show tomorrow night. You've got to get out and check out Jesse James Dupree and his band Jackal. They're going to kick your ass. As a matter of fact, they're going to rock you. They're going to roll you. And what else? Jackal you off, brother. Hey, Jesse, thanks for taking time out on your schedule to call me up, man. People go grab that record. Matter of fact, anybody that shows up to about two hours before doors open, anybody that's got the CD, it gets it's like a backstage pass. Two hours before doors open, show up with that CD. They're going to let you in the door along with your ticket to get in the show. That way, uh, that way we can uh, spend some quality time. I'm going to play a couple songs for the sound check and uh, sign everybody. CDs and we're just very, we, we worked our ass off on this thing. We're mighty proud of it. Brother, I'll see you tomorrow night. People, spread the word. Jack will come into town. Rock me, roll me. Jack will be off. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. All right, man.